this 2021 Tesla Model S Plaid, the customer really wanted it to be different when it came to protecting the paint on his car. He talked about seeing someone that had a blacked out Model S, but it didn't stand out for him, so he decided to do a combination of satin finish with Expel Stealth and leave some trim gloss. Piotas also did smoke tail lights to really finish off the black on black finish on the Model S. We got to work, prepped the whole car, and we started applying all the paint protection film that we needed. As soon as we finished all the paint protection film, we then coated the wheels. To finish it off, we did ceramic tins on the rear windows, and then we asked our client if he could go on a test drive, and here's how it looked. Well, here's a here's a first taste. You ready? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's oh, like no. <laughs> I saw the one on Jay Leno told the guy to try to keep his head forward without on the headrest. Yeah, exactly. It's just. Is that in loot? It's like the uh, different well, mode. Hold on. Let me just triple check. Oops. Yeah, it's in plaid. So I don't have it in drag drag strip yeah. mode, but that's. That's like 15 minutes to kind of warm the battery up. Um, have you had any drag strip mode before? I haven't yet. I have had a need for it. I just can't imagine what difference it makes. I don't know. It's. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it, that's the acceleration, though. Like pretty much at all speeds. Like that's the big yeah. difference between this one and, and the on performance fairing. Yeah, it's just it's there all the time. Yeah, so I was looking up the facts, you know, 0 to 60, 1.99 seconds. Um, pretty much the fastest production 0 to 60 out there right now. Um, rough, <laughs> roughly saying 1,020 horsepower, something like that. Yeah, exactly. I tell you what, if I go, let me hop, let me go uh, west on 24. Yeah. Because I think that would be... Yeah, I definitely don't want to. What, uh, is this your first Tesla? Nah. You had a couple? Yeah. yeah. Um, what would you have before this? I had the P100D. Yeah. So big, little, definitely, that one's pretty fast too. Not like this. It's, I gotta say though, it's like, it is materially different. Yeah. Especially. The interior, they definitely did a nicer job on the interior. Um, compared to the, earlier versions. Um, there's a nice touch screen back there, the console is definitely a little nicer. Yeah. The quality is there compared to the, the earlier versions of them, which I know is just working on them. Um, uh, yeah, okay. How do you like driving with the yoke steering wheel? It it's fine. To get used to it, it definitely takes a little while to get used to, but it's also, I don't know, like I'm used to, I, if I'm on the highway and like this anyway, yeah. Parking lot maneuvering that's can be one, a little weird. That's the one thing I noticed. You can turn right here. I noticed just trying to back it in and out of the shop, trying to wheel it. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Was yeah. my biggest thing. And yeah, the short, uh, short parking stuff is a little wonky. Not having the shifter as well. A little bit used to, but yeah. Uh, but this, yeah. No, I, a little bit to get used to the actual turn signals because you're looking for a stock. Um, it relies a lot on automation for the windshield wipers. Like the windshield wiper, I don't know, it's just easier to have stock in the switch. Yeah. Right? The person, yeah. it's like, they're on or off and it biases to being super aggressive. So even when it's like lightish rain, these things will be going back and forth um, pretty quickly. Yeah. Yeah, just little nuances like that are, are different. But I'll put my six humans we here. <laughs> Smart. Um, we're humans, we can uh, adapt anything. Alright, let's see. So, yeah, this one, the next turn you'll hop right on. This stop sign is going to be the today launch pad. Yeah. Don't want to be behind John to go though. No, you don't want to be behind that guy. 
What's your favorite part about this? Just the acceleration on this thing? Uh, it's just a it's just a better put together. It's just a better put together car. Like they yeah. just improved the manufacturing. They definitely improved on it. it the Tesla's definitely the build quality is like much better than also back in the earlier days. So like literally, I'm, I'm just gonna go. I've seen a person. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, yeah, you don't get that. <laughs> but yeah, it's like it's just point and shoot, right? Like it's the like the last one you'd have that feeling for maybe like from zero to sixty, but then it would wane. Down, and like yeah. here, it's just like it hey, keeps going speed, through right? hundred. Yeah. Like yeah, that was a hundred, and like we're going seventy-five. It just keeps going. I noticed on the old like hundreds. Yeah, after like sixty, seventy, it didn't have that same kind of acceleration. Yeah, definitely. It hit, it hit me with a gun. I <laughs> can do like a loop around here and come back yeah. up. And head down the rod. Uh, it's definitely an awesome car. How long did you have to wait for this car? You know, I had a reservation for the when they hit the Plaid Plus when they announced that because it was supposed to have like 500 something miles of range. Um, What's the range on this one? I mean, they say. I think it was like 396. 350 or something like that, they say. Um, <laughs> but not when you're. It, 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 yeah. When, when you're on it, when you're on it, forget <laughs> it. You notice it juicing down a little bit? Yeah, exactly. I'm trying to remember, yeah. if I go towards Summit, I can loop around, yep. right? Yeah, you think it's, yeah, the Summit one? Yeah, I think it's River Road. River Road. You know, I wish it, I mean, whatever, like I wish, I, I worry less about the range than the recharge, right? Yeah. That's, that's what they need to fix. And this is much better than the last one. It, it, I took it, I put it on a supercharger out Long Island, and, uh, yeah. Yeah, what is, how much for like, if you're at like 50 miles, 70 miles, how long for a supercharger are you looking at? Oh, that's that's no time at all. Yeah. Yeah, that might be like, Depending upon where the battery is, if it's like below 50%, that can be like five minutes, maybe yeah. back on range, maybe less. Or it's, it's really fast. Full charge. I mean, a full charge is, um, I don't know, it's probably, if you're at zero, it's probably like 30 minutes. It's still not that bad. It's not bad, but you get, but 20 minutes of that is getting to 80. So it just, yeah. it has to slow down. It has to slow down closer you get to um, full max. But we just actually became a certified lucid shop. Have you looked, into, have you looked at those? Oh, that's, that's cool. Yeah, they're... Um, we had a couple of the four of them when they did the reveal in the city a couple a month ago when they went public. We had a detail four of them for them. Maybe 15. 
I always rotated the tires though. Uh, I had a set of wind tires that I put on it. Uh, I'm not for this one. Like I just, I can't even imagine putting like soft compound tires on this car. Yeah, you'll need to smoke all four of them off the line. Seatbelt gets tighter and tighter the faster we go. <laughs> Based on like repetitive quarter mile yeah. runs, you would effectively have 10 miles of range. If you just, yeah. it, if if you just did it continuously. Little, yeah. And apparently you can do that. Like you, you don't just, have the, the old like, issue of the batteries like overheating. You know, like it's one thing, I'll get back in a drag race. This would be the perfect car for the drag race <laughs> because it'd be consistent. The weather. Yeah. The consistency hooking up, you're gonna hook up every time. Yeah. It'd be dead on all the time. Yeah. Thank you. Absolutely. That was awesome. Thank you very much. Yeah, of course. Us, uh, we'll get this video edited up for you yep. and I'll send it over to you. Sounds good. Alrighty.